hello friends this is Rahul back again and this in this video we were supposed to be installing and configuring free radius I have done that actually but skipped regarding this because I found that I have already created a video for this and the process is just same as it is now so I just skip recording it you can follow that on the link in the description and once you have completed this step in this video you can get back to this video and see how to integrate access manager with free radius okay to do that we need to create a create two sub modules or free radius exec for that we need to go Actually, we will directly edit those files sudo vim etc free radius modules exec. Okay, and in this file, okay, this is in the file, we need to copy this block of code, copy this, and then go to edit mode, enter couple of lines paste and escape colon save and exit okay now we have created these modules we need to now now we need to add these modules to those respective sections so that these can be executed when the request is received so again edit sudo via m etc free radius sites enabled and default okay now in this file under this authorization section here it is go to a bit more bit and add am authorize I am authorized and under the accounting section mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is accounting and accounting we will add am accounting this is what we have named the sub modules am authorize and am accounting okay call and save and that's it now we can check if yes ready to process requests means we are okay one thing you need to make sure that the free radius is in stop mode if that is not you need to sudo service free radius stop this is saying unknown instance because i had the free radius stopped already but if free radius is already running and then if you run it in debug mode this will throw an error a fatal error failed to binding to authentication at this distant this because the port is already in use so we need to stop it first and then run it in debug mode and all seems fine so i think the installation is complete next thing we need to add a router in the admin panel that we will see in some other video for now that's it uh, thanks for watching bye bye